And the winner is Robson Concha Chow. He unseats by a one point margin, 20 to 19. He unseats Vasil Lomachenko. Wow. If you guys may wonder who that is, that's Robson Kansukau, the fighter who's fighting Shakur Stevenson tonight. For the people that don't know, Robson is a gold medalist who's famously known for beating Oscar Valdez when he was on steroids, then he got robbed afterwards. Robson didn't just beat Valdez while he was cheating, taking steroids in the pros. Robson also beat Oscar Valdez in the amateurs. And guess who else? Robson beating the amateurs. Vasil Lomachenko. That's right. Like you guys saw at the beginning of this video, Robson beat Vasil Lomachenko. It was a good close fight where Robson outboxed Lomachenko. So when you guys hear old media from Tessa Tor to Mark Kriegel to Max Kellerman to Jim Lampley brag about Vasil Lomachenko amateur record, his 399 win with one loss. Well, guess what? Robson beat Vasil Lomachenko in the amateurs. And do you guys know, top ranking ESPN did not mention that, not even once, throughout the entire lead up to the Oscar Valdez fight and throughout the lead up to the Shakur Stevenson fight. Even though this is the perfect promotional tool to promote the fight between Shakur and Robson, is mention his credentials, especially Robson beating Vasil Lomachenko in the amateurs. That one loss on Lomachenko amateur record, Robson did that to him. He the one that handed Lomachenko a capital L in the amateurs. However, top ranking ESPN don't want to talk about it in order to promote their own event. Wait a minute. Something is not adding up. It sounds like Robson beating Vasil Lomachenko in the amateurs do not fit ESPN agenda. We constantly hear old media decaf wizards from Tessa Torres to Mark Kriegel continuously brag about Lomachenko amateur record, how he has 399 wins with only one loss. They do this every time they on television. Lomachenko doesn't even have to fight. It's not even Lomachenko night. In some way, somehow they will bring it up. But ironically, they never brought up the fact that Robson beat Lomachenko every single time Robson fought on ESPN. Never. When that's the perfect promotional tool to promote Robson. That's like if Robson beat Floyd Mayweather in the pros and ESPN never talked about it every time Robson fought on their network. It doesn't add up. Apparently, Robson don't have the complexion for the connection to get the ultimate protection the way Lomachenko does. Therefore, let's see. How bias, Mark Kriegel, Tessator, and everyone that works on ESPN. If once again, for the hundred times, they do not bring up the fact that Robson beat Lomachenko in the amateurs while he's going up against Shakur Stevenson tonight. Nevertheless, this is going to be a tough fight for Shakur Stevenson. His toughest fight today. My prediction is that Shakur going to win a dominant unanimous decision, but Robson is going to be in the fight. He's going to win a round or two, most likely. And every single round, he's going to be competitive. This is not a walk in the park for Shakur. And hopefully, Shakur is not overlooking Robson because Robson is no joke. He beat Lomachenko in the amateurs. So that tells you everything you need to know on how good he is. He's a gold medalist that beat Lomachenko in the amateurs. He beat Oscar Valdez in the pros while he was on steroids. Therefore, his credentials goes on and on and on. With that being stated, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued. On the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV, peace. And I'm on to the next one.